To the right of those smart brushes, we have our stamp tools in here. And there are two of these. There's the clone stamp tool, which allows you to clone from one spot and stamp it someplace else. And then the pattern stamp tool, allowing you to, to stamp in a pattern. So let's take a look at our clone stamp tool first. This works kind of like the healing brush tool. And I'm just going to zoom in over here on that window. There we go. I'll do that. And back to our stamp tool. You can check the brush size. Looks pretty good. If you have multiple layers, you can sample all layers. Of course, you can choose your brush type in here. You can adjust your opacity and size and so forth. And do some blending modes as well. So I'm going to grab them over here and get rid of this window. Actually, I think I'll get rid of this window over here, a little more space to work with. So I'll start over here, hold the Alt key down, and I'll click on a spot just like that. That sets in my beginning position. You can see here how it's now grabbed that, and I'll come in here and just kind of line up that line so it matches that visually. There we go. And I can then begin to paint in. I'm picking up a little bit of that frame there, but I can I can get rid of that. A little bit of a perspective problem in there, but we can kind of fake around that. But you can see the basic idea is it allows you to come in and actually grab from a spot and then paint in and remove anything you don't want by taking something from over here and cloning it over there. I can fix some of this stuff, of course, just by doing some continual cloning. Like that and just make it a little bit a little bit better job. But it's a great tool for this kind of work. Now for a real good job you want to spend some time on this and really come in here and do a careful job and get rid of everything. And I could, I could come in here and do that and give me a few minutes. I could clean that out and you wouldn't ever know if there was a window right there. But that's what that clone stamp tool does. It allows you to take part of an image from one place and clone it someplace else. Let me just show you another example. I'm going to go over here. Let's just grab the corner right there of that window. And let's roll up here and I'll put the window starting up there. So you, know, you don't have to be in the same place either. You can do some fun stuff as well if you want to. And you can clone onto multiple layers too. So I could come in here, clone this onto a separate layer, and then I could clean up that edge in there and paint in some more edge and actually give myself a new window in a new location. So a very, very interesting tool. It's great for cleaning things out of spots or for duplicating things like this. So you can use it either way. The other option down here, this is the stamp. This simply allows you to stamp in a pattern. There are lots of patterns in here to choose from. I'll leave it at the default bubble pattern there, but there's a whole bunch, you know, artist services, color paper, grayscale, nature patterns, and a lot of other stuff as well. And adjust the size and opacity on this. And I'll hold the that's all just begin patterning in right there. And it'll just grab that and then you can paint in or stamp in that pattern. Obviously on something like this to do a real good job I'd want to come in and make a selection first, a careful selection using my selection tools so that I wouldn't go out of out of the edges there. And I could then paint in my pattern. So I actually make this building here turn into a building made of ivy. So Lots of options in here, lots of different patterns you can use. And you can paint those patterns right onto your image. So there you go. Those are the two stamp tools. The clone stamp tool, which clones from one spot and pastes it into a different spot. And the pattern stamp. And on the clone stamp tool, just remember to hold the Alt key down and click on the spot you want to copy. Let go of the Alt key and then move over and paint where you want to paint to. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, 
click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.